Hello guys, Rick Malava here with SimplyMaya.com with a short uh, rendering tips video to show how to do wireframe unshaded using the Metal Ray render engine with Maya. Uh, so if I wanted to do a wireframe render of this model, uh, first of all, if I smooth the model and I, I did a render of this, I would actually not get a wireframe on the uh, where you see the edges currently selected right now. This model has been subdivided two times using the preview smooth key three, and so you'd actually see the uh, a far more dense mesh. If you want to see the base mesh of the model, you have to be sure that you're in uh, unsmoothed mode on the on the bottle itself. And so, in order to uh, do a wireframe, you have to have a, a, uh, a material. So if I come over and I open up my uh, Hypershade and I create a new Maya material, let's just say a blend here, and uh, I'll get rid of this one right here. I had one up earlier. And I double click on that blend and I go to its properties over here. Uh, I need to go to its shader group. So you want to pick this downstream uh, connection button here and that shows me the blend 3G shader group. And in that shader group node, this will be closed at, when you come in here, you'll see contours under uh, under mental ray. If you drop down the mental ray spinner, you'll see contours and if you drop down that spinner, you'll see enable contour rendering. You have to turn that on for the actual uh, material that you place on the object. And then you can pick the color that you want that to be. Let's say like a dark purple there. And say OK. And then you want to pick the uh, how you want the line size to be drawn. Uh, relative will base the size of the line on the size of the units in your scene. Uh, I usually pick absolute and pick a size of like anywhere between 0.2 and 0.5 uh, for the size of the line. So now uh, you take and you apply this, uh, bring this back in here, and, yeah, get it where I can see it. It's blend 3, so I'll take it from here. Just take this blend 3 and drop it on to the bottle. In fact, what I'll do is I'll select everything, and then I'll go to this blend 3 shader, and I'll say assign material to select it. So now it's on everything. And if I was to render at this point, what you would get is nothing there's a second step that you have to do and so the next thing you need to do is open up the render globals tab and in the render globals tab with mental ray selected as your renderer uh, you want to first pick the size of course that you want your render to be and what you want to render it out as so I'm going to render out as a TIFF and I'm going to uh, choose a 1k by 1k image and then I go to the uh, quality tab and I usually like to render with uh, production fine trace to get the highest quality render and then I'll go to uh, my indirect lightings tab and I'll turn on final gather and then I'll come over here to features and this is critical for your contour render if you come all the way down to the bottom here you'll see uh, actually this will be closed if you come down to the bottom here you'll see contours and the spinner will be closed by default so you pop that spinner open and you go down into this area and you have to also enable contour rendering here in the renderer uh, once you've created the material with the shader group that has rendering turned uh, contour rendering turned on you can just uh, disable the contour renders in your actual uh, uh, render globals by toggling this on and off but the actual material itself has to have uh, contour rendering uh, turned on in its shader group in order to see uh, contours rendered. This just determines whether the renderer itself decides to show or display uh, the uh, the contours if they're turned on within the material shader group. So with this selected, enable contour rendering. I usually come in here and for oversampling, it's something like one. I usually drive that all the way to the top. Your filter type by default will be box filter. Gaussian will give you the best looking uh, lines and then filter support once again this will be at you know somewhere down here around one I usually just slam it up to two uh, for those settings now once again if you try to render at this point you get nothing and this is where most people start to get really frustrated because it's like how many places do I have to turn things on in order to get a uh, uh, the lines a wireframe to actually render there's only one more step that you have to do though this uh, box down here which is normally 
closed. You have to turn the drop the spinner down on that. And this determines how uh, mental ray is going to, or what polygons mental ray is going to draw the wireframe or the contours around. And the one that you want to pick is around all poly faces, the second one right here. By default, none of these are checked. So once again, you have uh, turned on contour rendering in the shader group. You've turned on contour rendering in the actual renderer, but you haven't told the renderer what polygons to draw the contours around. So you have to do that last step is this one right here. So now if I come in with those three things done, contour rendering turned on in the shader group, contour rendering turned on in the in the render globals, and uh, I've instructed the renderer uh, for which polygons uh, to draw the uh, the wireframe around, now I can actually render and see the results. So if I come in here and select render, And there we go. I paused the screen while it was rendering, and uh, there's the render complete with the wireframe uh, on the on the bottle itself. Now, if I uh, just to demonstrate, if I uh, select this whole object, oops, let me uh, not do it in the render there. Let's select the whole object, and if I throw a smooth on it with the smooth preview key, and I render again. And once again, I'll, I'll pause the screen while it's rendering here. This is a post uh, a post processing effect, the contour render. So it will render the entire model out first, and then at the very end, it shows the uh, the actual contours or the wireframe. And there we go. And you can see that the wireframe is much denser, even though the wireframe in my preview mode is a uh, is not as dense because uh, even though this is smooth, it's not showing me the actual subdivisions uh, of the smoothing. I'm only seeing the uh, the subdivisions of the unsmoothed model. It would be nice if uh, Mental Ray offered an option to uh, give me a wireframe unshaded of the uh, of the uh, unsmoothed mesh on top of the smooth mesh, but I have found no way to do that. I either have to convert the mesh down to uh, uh, unsmoothed and render it or smooth and render it and then you get this very very dense mesh but that's the way you do it there's three steps one create a create a shader uh, and go into its shader group and enable uh, contour rendering then go into the render globals and go into features and turn on uh, contour rendering and then be sure to go down to the draw by properties tab and select what polygons you want the wireframe or the contours to be rendered around and then render your object. There you go. I hope you guys find this helpful and uh, catch you again on uh, another uh, tips video.